I've been putting off unlocking this camel for a bit now, considering I already have it on my main account. But I feel like if I don't unlock it now, I'll regret it later since this is only limited time. And that camo is the Winds of Ash and the Mastery camo that you get for completing it for all weapon classes. Now, as you can see here, I have a decent bit of progress. I'm over halfway on some of the more lengthy ones and just a few kills away on some others. So today, I'm gonna be trying to get all of these done. That way we can get this Mastery camo over and done with. And I could also use this opportunity to get some levels for some of these weapons that I don't have any on. And I can work towards getting some other attachments that I don't have unlocked. We might as well take advantage of shipment 24-7 while we have it because we don't know how long it'll be there. So let's go ahead, hop in, and try to get these headshots done. All right, so let's work on our battle rifle first. I got the TAC V on here since I got no levels for it. And I have no aim for it either. Okay, maybe this is going to be a little more difficult than I thought. I'm no stranger to getting headshots. We've already gotten polyatomic on one account, but I am not very good on controller. So let me see if my accuracy can improve. Maybe this will be... uh helpful for me to help me get better with my controller accuracy but i really do like the idea of this event camo i hope that they keep doing things like this uh them being limited time puts a little pressure on it makes it a little more exclusive and i feel like the exclusivity of mastery camos isn't really there in this game since the camo challenges are so easy and them adding in you know different event camos in just for the season kind of brings it back a bit and they did a good job on this first camo it being like a cherry blossom type is really fun it's a really good looking camo and you know what? I'd be, I'd be dumb not to get it. Because while we're working on all these other weapons, it'll be a nice camo to throw on our weapon while we make our way up to the masteries. And there's our battle rifles done. So time to switch over to our snipers. I'll use the Victus XMR. And that's game. Still get a headshot at the end, though. But they threw us in a game of progress, and we got one weapon done. That's what we like to see. So, so much for leveling up the TAC V. Let's go ahead and switch this out for an SMG. We'll throw on our, our Fennec because this has the, the shark fin underbarrel, I'm pretty sure. And that's a really useful attachment that we need. I'm a little excited to use this Victus XMR. But honestly, I love sniping. Sniping's a lot of fun. I don't do it too often, especially on maps like Shipment. But I think if I had to pick, the Victus XMR might be my favorite sniper in this game. But I don't know how long that's going to last because we've got the intervention coming in the next season. I wonder what other guns we're going to get because I'm going to be a little disappointed if we're only getting like one or two guns each update. Oh, there we go. But in the season two reloaded update, we literally just got one weapon. I want to see more than that. Did we just get a clat there? Because they've definitely been lacking on content. And so far from what we've seen, the only things coming out with season three are, are the intervention and the new lighthouse map which is supposed to be like a reimagining of a state from what i've been told and what i mean by what i've been told is what i've been seeing on twitter i think we're supposed to be getting a gunfight in season three but i just saw something earlier today from uh some reputable leakers that the gunfight maps are just little cutoff parts of 6v6 maps which i don't know what i expected you know i guess i was thinking something like cold war where their gunfight maps also became like face-off maps. And that was kind of my hope for what was going to happen with this gunfight. But if it's taken until season three for them to be like, oh yeah, this mode people want, we should probably put that in. I, I should have known that they weren't going to try to make any new maps for it. But at least I hope it's not like just lazily cut off from the 6v6 maps. Like there needs to be some sort of design put into it you know to change the pathing and the the play styles of 2v2s on there but i was really hoping to get like a, a big content drop and you know we still have a, a week to go i think exactly a week at least from the time i'm recording this so there could be more information more stuff to come out but it doesn't seem like it they also just announced some stuff for ricochet some updates where they can now detect if players are using cronus in their controllers but instead of just banning them apparently they just get a warning which is really weird i don't know why they do that i saw a lot of people talking about how ricochet is supposed to be the zero tolerance policy on cheaters but now it's just going to give people a warning i feel like if they're giving warnings they're not 100 certain that they're they can detect the cheats effectively either that or they just don't care that much that people are cheating in their games maybe they want people to go ahead and buy their game if they're going to just cheat in it if they're going to make a new account for it so i don't really know where cod's priorities are at but it's not looking too great. And on top of that, I'm sure you guys have heard about like the Fortnite creative 2.0 thing to come out. You know, put your feelings about Fortnite aside, you know, whatever you feel about it. Uh, there was a lot of people making like old Call of Duty maps in it. Either that be zombies or multiplayer. And now they're all getting DMCA'd. So they're not up there on, for other people to use and play on. I mean, it makes sense, but also at the same time, if people really are like lusting over these old maps and modes why isn't kai just put them out in their own games instead of taking it down from some fan of theirs spending hours and hours and hours creating a map just for them to take it down it kind of feels counterproductive but we did get our snipers done there time to work on the shotguns but with the whole fortnite creative update coming out on top of like cs2 coming out 
it seems like every game is moving forward and COD is just taking steps backwards. And I don't mean to be the guy that just hops on here and be like, oh, COD's doing this wrong. COD's doing that wrong. Like, I, I love this game and I want to see it do better. But it seems like at every turn, they're like, how can we take away things and still charge the same price? I mean, not to shit on COD too much. Like, I, I think they're heading in the right direction in terms of grindables. Like, like I was saying with the event camos, I think that's a really good idea. Throw those in there. Same with the ranked camos. I think it's a great incentive to give players that already have like the mastery camos or even players that don't. But it's just a whole nother thing to do in the game for those people that just like unlocking things. Like for me, the main point of playing COD or the, the thing I enjoy the most is kind of like mindlessly playing but working on little challenges here and there, it feels like I'm moving towards something. And then I get a, a nice little camo to show off at the end of it. I feel like they could rework the, the weapon mastery challenges because I don't really care about the, the charm or the calling card or the emblem. I think that's all lame. But if they were to do something kind of like that and just give us some camos or, I don't know, maybe even like weapon blueprints, like cool blueprints for each weapon or getting the, the weapon masteries done. That'd be sweet too. It kind of feels like they're just focusing on the wrong things. I guess they're also adding ranked play the war zone, something that people have been asking for since like war zone, the first season one. But at this point, I don't know how many people are still even playing war zone. Like this is the worst iteration of it. Like I only really hopped on there for the April Fool's event and I played that for like a day. And still after a while, after like the novelty of the mode wore off, I was kind of bored of it. Like it, it almost seems like COD, looks and sees our feedback and they try to do the opposite of it for some reason or at least infinity ward it seems like treyarch you know gives a little bit of a shit and they'll see feedback and be like oh maybe we should fix something and tweak something a little bit but infinity ward seems like they're they're stuck in their ways this is really turned into the shitting on cod hour but also one more thing that i saw is that you know how all the rumors were that this game was supposed to be like a two-year game it's supposed to get two years of content you know, two-year life cycle. Apparently, and now these are just rumors. I have no idea. This is all just the, the current narrative. So I could be completely wrong. But what was supposed to happen was this game was supposed to get like a lot of like Modern Warfare 2, like OG Modern Warfare 2, like it was centric content. And then this game wasn't performing as well, even though it's the best selling COD of like all time, I think. But apparently like the player numbers weren't where they wanted them to be at or something along those lines. Some sort of statistic isn't where they want it to be. And so they decided, you know what? We're going to have Sledgehammer make the game coming up, you know, later this year, like October, November. And we're putting in the content that was meant for Modern Warfare 2 into that instead. Like, what is the point? If the game's going to be similar to this, why make an entire new game and just push all the content to that? What are people that bought this game supposed to do? Because we still have not gotten a single, like, OG Modern Warfare 2 map. Oh, we're done with our shotgun headshots. Let's switch to our SMG now. But for a game named Modern Warfare 2, you know, the namesake of one of the most you know, beloved CODs of all time. Having like nothing from that game is just ridiculous. And like we mentioned earlier, they're bringing in the intervention and uh, like the estate rework or whatever, which is all fine and dandy. But I feel like estate is probably the one map that I really did not want to see. Like it's cool and all, and I'm very nostalgic for it. Yeah, you know, I, I got my first boner on that map from the, the little doll in the, the tub. But when I think Modern Warfare 2, I'm thinking like Terminal. I'm thinking Skid Row. I'm thinking Rust. I'm thinking Favela. You know, there's, there's so many other maps you can throw in here. Like, I'm definitely even missing a bunch too. And it's not like it's going to be difficult for them to make because if they're going to rework 6v6 maps into, you know, gunfight maps, they can definitely rework Warzone maps. You know, the recreations of these Modern Warfare 2 maps that they have already on the map. A lot of map in that sentence, but they could definitely just cut that out and toss it into multiplayer because they did it back in Warzone 1 with, what was it? Scrapyard? Why can't they do it here? What's, I, I feel like they have a gold mine waiting for them. And they just don't want to do it. It's just for the sake of drip feeding. And again, I, I don't want to just shit on COD. You know, I, I love this game. I've been playing this game for, you know, basically my whole life off and on and then full time for the last few years. I just want to see it do better. Like, this is all coming from a place of love. I just know that there's things that they can do better and it's like an easy layup for them and I just don't know why they don't. But we already got three weapon classes done already. We're making progress on the SMGs. We just need 80 more. It's actually going to take a bit longer than I thought, but shipment definitely should speed this up a bit. Let's see how many games it takes me to get the SMG headshots done. So that's one game. Okay, so that's two games. Still not done. So that's three games. That's what, four or five games now? I think I lost count. Don't ever ask me to count over three. That's too high of a number for me. Oh, I'm only two headshots away. Oh, that should be it right there. There's a level up. Maybe not. Oh, no, there it is. 
I mean, fooled for a second. Now we're moving on to pistols. Pistols, I'm pretty sure it's only 50 headshots. And I'm starting with the Deeg just because I know it's a one-shot kill to the head. But if I end up not being able to hit these shots, never mind. I'm the greatest. I was going to say, if I, if I can't hit these shots, we're switching to a different pistol. There we go. The Deagle's very satisfying if you can hit those headshots. Let's hope we can keep it up. Holy shit. I'm either John Wick or I suck dick. There's no in between. Ooh! Damn. They really know how to rip joy from your hands. Just sitting there getting a double, and then all of a sudden I'm in another universe getting flashbanged. And after one game with mostly pistol, I think we might have at least got halfway there or close. Eh, 11 out of 30, almost halfway. But I was thinking it was 50. 30's not that bad. Ooh! Oh, let's go. Oh, and more. Oh, a little five piece of domers. Ooh, and let's not get a little too cocky. Let's not, let's not fumble this. Okay, we fumbled it. Oh. Oh. No, reload faster, please. Come on. How do I hit, like, nasty shots and then miss the easiest ones on people not even looking at me? That's just how headshots work. You're laying down right next to a guy. Do you not see him? Crazy Kenny got glaucoma. Am I done with this? Is that what happened? Let's go. All right, what next? I, I'll work on marksman rifles since I'm kind of in that, that one-tap headshot mood. Oh, and a collat to start us out. A little two-for-one. That's what we like to see. Nasty. Oh, fuck. Come on. What? This is what I'm talking about. I can hit shots while sprinting on somebody else that's sprinting, but somebody's sitting still. It's probably a 90% chance I'm going to miss it. Okay, so we got 15 there. We're almost done with this. After the marksman rifles, there's just two classes that we basically need 75 headshots for. But they're fully automatic, so it shouldn't be that difficult. Knock on wood. Was that another collat? Probably not. Oh, that was one though. Oh, are we done? It just says get 50 kills with it. Maybe that was just our, our camo challenge. I don't know if that was our headshots. I'll, I'll just keep using them for the rest of the game to be sure. Oh, there it is. It just now popped up. All right. We're all done with it. There's one extra just to be sure. And now let's work on our ARs. Kill me. Thank you. We'll work on the Chimera a little bit. Oh, maybe this was not the weapon to use. Oh, yes, it is. Never mind. I am struggling to get these headshots. I'm getting one every once in a while here, but the recall on this is a little bit more difficult for me to control than I thought. You would think with the more bullets, the more chances I get to actually hit it, but it seems like I'm getting a few shots into the head and then like my last shot will hit like a shoulder or the chest. Oh, except for right there. You know what? Maybe we just need to warm up a bit. I do feel like my accuracy has gotten better today, though. Like, I feel like I'm getting a lot better on controller. Oh my god. The second I say that, I started knighting him, shooting over each shoulder. Okay, we just flew through this game, had 60 kills. We gotta be really close to getting this done, actually. We almost cranked that all out in one game. Oh yeah, we're 11 away. Oh, starting out hot, too, with quick triple. Oh, okay, that's gotta be it right there. Yes, sir. All right, switching to the LMG. Now let's see if we can use the sack in pause to get some head. I just got to adjust to playing a little bit slower now. So I've been sprinting around with the Chimera. Or if it starts taking too long and I end up getting enough levels for it, we could build this out to just be only hip fire and just Rambo our way through the map. Or maybe I should use a lighter LMG like the RPK. But that's not as fun. We got to challenge ourselves a little bit here. Jeez, I'm getting no headshots. Zero head. Headless. Who's pinging? This is multiplayer. You don't need a ping. It's shipment, too. There's going to be somebody around every corner. You're just pinging and be annoying. It's like giving call outs on shipment. There's one container, one container. I feel like I'm running into the problem that I did with the Chimera, but like times 10. Because I just have so many bullets and you'd think it'd be easier to get headshots, but I just keep hitting like shoulders, neck, you know, chest, missing anything that resembles a head. Oh my Lanta, come back here. This is definitely the most difficult weapon to do this for. Either that or it's the camo curse setting in because we've had a pretty decent run today until we got to these. Maybe I just need to aim like way higher than I'm actually doing it at. So I'm aiming like a little bit towards the top of uh, the iron sights. Maybe I need to aim like towards the middle of them. And then that way when the recoil kicks in, the gun starts going up, it's only going to be head. 
There we go. I'm starting to regret my choice of LMG, but I'm in too deep. Can't change now. And now I see somebody using pings to try to get people through smoke. That's a little bit of a smarter reason to do it. Still annoying as shit. But at least that kind of makes sense. Like he threw down the smoke and he started spamming his ping button to see if he could get anybody. What is that? I swear I shot him in the top of the head. How many bolts to the top of the head does it take to take somebody down? I was peppering his skull. He just went, mm, not enough. Sorry. This helmet's too thick for that. Whatever, dude. Oh, look at that. Two headshots in a row. What is this? My birthday? Oh, my Lanta. It's finally happening. We're getting consistent progress. I don't know what changed. But you know what? Let's not question it. Oh, fuck you with last stand. Eat shit. Ooh. Okay, this is our game. Let's get this done. No more fucking around. We've been dilly-dallying around with this LMG. That ends right here. Oh, I think we got it. Let's go. Let me get out of this game right now. Oh, let's make sure that we did get it. Yes, sir. Ooh. The Boeing Blossoms camo. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's go ahead, hop in game and see what it looks like there. All right, this is what the mastery camo looks like in game. I threw it on the Victus XMR here and it's just gorgeous. What a great looking camo and I'm glad we got it done. And this is what it looks like on the Deagle. Insane inspect animation too. This is a really good camo. Very beautiful. And just for the sake of showing you, this is what it looks like if you only complete like one of the weapon classes. Like this would look like if I just got it done for the LMGs. It's a decent camo, but it's so scratched up. You can't even really enjoy it. All you can really see is all the, the scratches on it. Really wish they wouldn't do that because some of these camos would look great without all the wear on it. But there you go. We got these camos done just in time. Only a week left before season two is over. And I'm really glad we did it. We got some nice camos to play around with while we're grinding out all of our masteries. But anyways, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Later.